Why do you want Sharon Crane dead? What has she ever done to you? I don't have a problem with the lady myself. She is a good-looking broad. But she ticked off the wrong people. Who? Those drug dealers in France? Who cares? You better for one, my man. You don't whack Sheridan Crane, they'll hire someone else to do the job, and they'll take you out right along with her. You catch my drift? It's her old bit or yours in the morning paper. Take your pick. Please, please, let Louise find survivors from the prom boat. He's got to be all right. I mean, they've all got to be all right. Hold on to me. We're gonna be okay. I can't see My cramp is getting worse. Try not to think about it, okay? I got you. I got you. You should have never left the hospital. And now you're out here wasting all your strength trying to keep me from going under. Hey, look. Do I look like I'm having a problem with this? I'm hanging in just fine. I can't see the shore. Where are all the rescue boats? I mean, isn't anyone trying to save us? We're gonna die out here, Tyler. Sweet, Whitney. Look, I don't want to hear that kind of talk, all right? We are gonna make it. No, you won't. Not if you stay with me. Just let me go and save yourself, okay? Let me go. Whitney. No. Sam? Sam? Sam! Sam, where are you? <laughs> Please don't let him drown. Sam's a strong swimmer. He'll be okay. You'll find Ivy and they'll both be all right. Please don't cry. Please don't cry. I'm scared, Kay. Me too. What if your dad dies? With me and Chad. What if Reese went down in the boat? Simone, please don't even say that. What if we did this? What if our trying to freak Charity out caused this to happen? How could it? You knew Charity had premonitions about disaster on prom. What if she really does have special powers like Carrie in the movie? And we triggered them by pouring fish cuts on her, and now everyone we know is gonna die. Simone, that's crazy. That is the craziest thing you've ever said. Say something, Charity. Why'd you try to choke me? Did you did you think I was someone else? Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answers to, Romeo. Jimmy doesn't understand. Now that the blind priest got the pendant off of Charity, does that mean she'll be nice like she was and everybody will be happy? <laughs> Dream on, little munchkin. The seeds of evil were planted in Charity's subconscious. It's only a matter of time before she tries to kill Miguel again. And then when that's done, she'll be ours. Her heart, her mind, and her soul. Mother! Are you out there? Ivy! Ivy Cray, can you hear us? Mother! Ivy! Oh God, if anything happens, sir. No, Ethan, don't think the worst. Maybe another boat picked her up. Mother! Mother! I love you. Mother! Ivy! Ivy! Where are you?
Forget it. I'm not killing Sheridan Crane. It's not up for discussion. You owe me. This is how I'm calling in the debt. I'll get you your damn money. I just need a little more time. Your time ran out weeks ago. You're lucky I gave you another chance to wipe the slate clean doing this little job for some friends of mine. No, you see, you've got the wrong guy, okay? I've done some things I'm not proud of, but murder's not on that list. Hey, there's a first time for everything, Hank. And just for the record, you're the ideal man for this job. You're the bodyguard's best buddy, not to mention the intended victim's favorite date. You're beyond suspicion. Opportunity-wise, it couldn't get better than that. You still got that little, uh, get well present I gave you in the hospital? Yes, I've got the gun. So what are you waiting for? You know what to do. So do it. Hank, what's the matter? Who are you talking to? Has something happened to Louise? Mother! Ethan, your mother's a wonderful swimmer. She's in terrific shape. Look, I know, but if the current's still strong and she's been out there for a while... You know, why didn't I make sure she got on a life raft? Ethan, please do not blame yourself. There's nothing anyone could have done about it. No. I may not have known your mother all that long, but, but I, I do know that she's a lot like you. I mean, she's not afraid of anything. She's strong, and she never gives up. You're right. She's fearless, and she's a fighter. And if anyone can make it through this, it's her. Mother! Hey. Mother! What's going on between you and Ethan? Mother, can you hear me? Ivy! Ivy! Hang on, I'm almost there! Everything's gonna be okay. I knew you loved me. Hello? Is anybody out there? I think I see someone. Is it Sam? I can't tell yet. Hang on. I'm almost to them. Oh my god. Reese. Hey? You're all right? We're all fine, Reese. Reese, what happened to you? We were so scared. I got knocked overboard by this monster wave and when I made it to the surface, I couldn't find my glasses, so I couldn't see. So I was reaching around in the water for something to hold on to. And I'll come up with this. That's your court jester's hat, Kay. Those bells may have saved your life, son. Are you glad to see me, Kay? I am, Reese. I really am. He suffered from exposure. We've got to get back to shore. Let's see if we find Sam and Ivy. Uh, Dad, the raft's leaking. What do you want me to do, Grace? We gotta be sure the kids are okay first. Sam, please be all right. You are not getting rid of me that easy. The like it or not, we are in this together. But we're both doing a drown and we try to save you, Jeff. It's bad enough. I didn't dress for this midnight swim. But now I gotta put up with a know-it-all woman, too? Stop making jokes, Chad. I mean it. Look, you almost said I tried to save my life once. 
I'm not gonna let it happen again. So just let me go, okay? No. Wendy, I think that's it! You're wasting energy now! But you want us to get through this! You would just have to shut up and do what I say! Now, I want you to look into my eyes. Look into my eyes and stay calm. Real calm. You can not trust me. We ain't got a prayer. Now, I'm gonna do most of the work. But don't fight me, okay? You think you can do that? I'll try. That's it. Good girl. Okay. I can't wait to see it! Did he have any information on Luis or, or anyone else on the boat? Uh, no. That was just a local who wanted to help out with the search. What's that? Sheridan and I fished it out of the water. It washed up against the dock. That's from the prom boat. Miguel was so excited about going to the prom with his beautiful charity. And Teresita, she looked like a princess. I didn't want her to go, but wild horses couldn't keep her away. She said that tonight would change her entire life. Don't cry. Luis is out there searching for Miguel and Teresa. Everyone else on the boat, and if anyone can save them, then he can. She's right. Luis will not give up until he finds them. I just wish I were out there to help him. Why don't you get another boat and go? No, I can't. I promised Luis I would stay with you. But I'll be fine. I'm with Pilar. No one's going to hurt me. No. Hank, you mustn't leave Sheridan's side. You have to honor Luis's wish. I mean, he entrusted you with her life. All right, what's going on between you and Ethan? You're not getting a crush on him again, are you? It's not a crush, Luis. All right, all right, look, take it easy. I'm, I'm not accusing you of anything. I, look, I'm just upset that you're on this boat in the first place, right? There's absolutely no reason on this earth that you should be out on a search for Ivy Crane. Yes, there is. M M Mama works for her, and, and when you're Sheridan's body. Look, those are jobs. That's all. All right? Now, I may not be able to get Mother to quit her job. Trust me. As soon as Sheridan's out of danger, I'm through with that entire Crane family. Are you sure, Louise? I mean, I, I knew you had feelings for Sheridan. Yeah, well, even if I did, it's beside the point now. She and Hank are getting closer. And it's good for her. And you're the one who's supposed to be with Sheridan. Why is it that, that certain people who are meant to be together can't see what's so obvious to everybody else? I don't know what went into me. I just lost it. You, you just got scared. That's so, all. How's, how's your crib? It's a little better, I think. I'm just so tired. I know, I know. But you just gotta hang it a little longer, okay? You know, I'm as bad as to let the current carries in the sword. Carries in the shore, but we can't find it. All right? Can you do that? I'm just so sleepy. No! Don't say that! Don't, don't you say that! You gotta stay awake, okay? Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Okay? Hey, hey, look. See that? Stop. You keep looking at that star. Okay? 
Bitch, I mean it. Witness, you keep looking. Stop. Just look at it. It's beautiful. It's not. Sound better with some back backup. So why don't you help me out? Don't let me slap into the breeze. Okay. Okay. Sorry. It's my call. Don't let it out. Don't let it out. What you are. Do you hear that? Sounds like singing. See anyone? Look, there they are over there. It's Chad and Whitney. Oh my God! Chad! Oh Wait, Chad! Oh my I love my wife. I saved you because you were drowning. The way I would save anyone. No, no I know you'd still be there no matter what. I know you love me no matter what. The only man I love. The only man I will ever love. I love you too. So much. You saved me on my wedding night, too. That was a long time ago. You need to stay in the present. Concentrate on staying alive right now. Oh, we're going to be so happy together now, Sue. Now that we have something that connects us. Get her. Get her right? A blanket. Oh, we need a blanket for you here. Here, Chad, here's a blanket here. Hey, I can't stay out here. I gotta get these guys in. How our new improved charity reacts to all our loved ones. We were so worried about you. And how'd you get off the boat? Um, I don't. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? I mean, what'd you do? Did you swim or did you take a life raft? Uh, honestly, I don't know how I got here. I'm worried, Mrs. Bennett. Charity's not herself at all. She's probably in shock. I'm sure Eve will get to her as soon as she sees the lease. You better hope Charity doesn't figure out who spilled fish guts on her. That is, if she remembers anything at all. Simone, you don't really think Charity has special powers, do you? I don't know. How else do you explain everything that's happened tonight? I think you're right. Maybe I better lay off trying to break up Miguel and Charity for a while just to be on the safe side. Tabitha, did you just hear what Kay said? It sounds as if Kay's afraid of Charity. Hmm, she may not know why yet, but she's got very good reason. I need to talk to you. About what? About what happened on the boat tonight. Uh oh. It looks like Charity knows Game Simone dumped the fish guts on her. Mm, we'll soon find out, won't we? Why would we know any more about what happened tonight than you do, Charity? Why do you two look so shaky? You're on solid ground now. 
We're not shaky, we're fine. I just really don't remember how I got to this dock. Are you sure that you didn't see me leave the boat? I'm positive. Well, maybe someone else took you to shore. Well, I'd really love to know who so I can thank them. It wasn't me. You were already on the dock when I got here. Miguel, what in the world happened to your neck? Thank God you're all right, but Gwen, I didn't know you were on the boat, too. It's a long story. Oh, well, we saw Julian drive away, so he's all right, but where's Ivy? My mother's still out there somewhere. Oh, my goodness, poor Ivy. Look, we're doing everything that we can to rescue any and all survivors. Hey, Gwen, there's your mother. Don't worry, okay? No matter what happens, I'm here. Well, thanks for looking out for her while I was out there, Hank. Nobody's gonna try and kill me tonight, Luis. Look, you don't know that, Sheridan. With everything that's going on around here, the gunman could be anywhere. Look, you just do what you have to do, okay? I won't let Sheridan out of my sight. Maybe that's news about Ivy. Lopez Fitzgerald. DC, where are you? God, mother, calm down. I'm, uh, I'm okay. I was so frightened when I heard the news bulletin about the prom boat. I should have known that Ethan wouldn't let any harm come to you. <laughs> but Ethan, I'm your fiance! I'm the one you love! <laughs> Ethan, don't leave me! Gwen, I can't let Teresa drown! <laughs> oh, it's, it's lucky for me I'm a good swimmer. Otherwise, when, when Ethan left me to go to Teresa... I... What? Oh my god, you could have drowned! We wouldn't have found you and Chad if we hadn't heard your voices with. He was singing to keep me awake, Teresa. He just... he just wouldn't give up. And he wouldn't let me either. Now, do you believe he loves you? You know, um... You never told me what happened when Gwen found you and Ethan. Oh, all hell broke loose before she could say much, but... That's not the time either way. Not when Ethan is so worried about his mother. Oh, living's okay. Thanks to you. Yeah. Listen, don't ever tell her this, but uh, for a couple of minutes, I thought we wasn't gonna make it. Yeah, well, you know, it's like Teresa always says about fate. Guess it wasn't your time. Casey's on the commercial dock with Miguel and Charity. They're safe. Gracias a Dios. Uh, Luis, is there any news about my mother? I already asked. I'm sorry, nothing yet. Look, so, so let me get this straight, TC. Everyone's accounted for except for, for Ivy Crane. No, Sam's out there too. Sam? From the boat, we caught sight of Ivy in the water struggling. Sam went to go save her, and we lost sight of both of them. I was so worried you wouldn't come for me. Now everything's gonna be all right. Daddy will forgive us. And we'll get married and he'll buy us a big house on the hill. And the baby can be right there. Hey, huh? we having some, some fantasy about the past. You and I are no longer together. We haven't been for years. Oh. You married Julian and I married Grace. We didn't have a child of our own. Oh. Darling, Sam. I've been wanting to tell you for so long. It's time for you. They look like fingerprint marks on us. You think somebody grabbed you when the boat was going down or something? Everybody was in such a panic, I don't remember. You really think that's how they got there? You don't remember? Um, no. Last I remember, I was on the boat. Why, should I know how they got there? Don't worry about it. 
Doesn't matter. You were afraid Charity was going to ask you about the fish guts, weren't you? Why would we care about that? Because you dumped them on her. God, Jessica, where do you come up with these perverse ideas? Habit, I guess. If your sister has figured it out, who's to say everyone else won't? Are you kidding me, Simone? People have a lot more serious things to think about right now. Besides, with that boat on the bottom of the ocean, there's really going to be no evidence to tie us to Charity's little accident. Charity's got her full powers. Why didn't she know what came from owned it? Apparently her gifts aren't fully developed yet. When they are, she'll remember all of it and know exactly what her cousin did to her. No offense, Princess. But Timmy thinks your plans got foiled again. Charity's as sweet as ever, and now Kay's decided not to break up Charity and Miguel. It looks as if your evil pendant didn't bring Charity to the dark side after all. What's that? I wouldn't pick that up if I were you, Kay. Would you calm down, Mother? All right, this is not the time to confront Ethan about Teresa. He's too worried about Ivy right now. I suppose you're right. He needs your support now. But I'm going to go have a little talk with the housekeeper's daughter. Any sign? No, not yet. God, I can't believe this is happening. Neither can I. Gwen, I never meant to hurt you when I went for Teresa. Well, Ethan, let's not talk about this right now, okay? Let's just concentrate on finding your mother. Ethan hasn't told me he loves me, but I know beyond a shadow of a doubt he does. I mean, he wouldn't have left Gwen all by herself to save me if he didn't. Honey, that doesn't prove anything, okay? Maybe Ethan knew that Gwen was a good swimmer. And he had to save you because you were the one who was in trouble. No, it was a life and death moment for both of us. I mean, he chose me over Gwen because that's what his heart told him to do. Teresa, Rebecca Hotchkiss, Gwen's mother, I'd like a word with you. Ah, no, you need to know. I should have told you years ago. Look, we don't have time for that now. We need all of our strength. I love you. You need to get out of the past. There's been nothing between us since you married Julian. Do you hear me? Nothing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, your son. Simone, look what I found. Isn't that the pendant Charity wore to the prom? Yeah, it's a present from Tabitha. You better go. But you watch, Timmy. Kay's attitude is going to do a complete 180. What's the matter? I just realized what a jerk I'm being. Charity doesn't have any special powers. There's no way I'm going to let her keep Miguel and intimidate me. What did I tell you? Things are looking up. Oh, I love that little pendant. It works like a charm. Hello, oh, thanks a lot. Bye. Trust me, Louise. I hate you being my bodyguard more than you do. 
Yeah, well, then you're in for a treat tonight. Because I can't be looking after you while I'm trying to find Sam and Ivy. Well, Ivy's my sister-in-law. I, I want to help out in the search, too. Look, I'm sorry. You're too much of a target out here. <sighs> Hank, I'd feel a hell of a lot better if you looked after her and stayed with her tonight. I understand you've taken a special interest in my daughter's wedding. Yes. Gwen asked me to help her. Because she had to be out of town. But now that she's back, your services are no longer required. But I'm in the middle of all the, the arrangements. Look, Gwen is more than capable of picking up where you left off. Frankly, my dear, I think you've done quite enough already. I don't understand. Oh, but you know, I think you do. But I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt just once and assume that your overly enthusiastic work habits have something to do with your hopes for a career in fashion. I mean, that is why you took employment with the Cranes, is it not? Yes, it's true. The fashion industry has always been my dream. Well, then I suggest that you do nothing to jeopardize it. After all, a housekeeper's daughter should never reach higher than her grasp. And you know, I've heard you're quite bright, so... I think you'll appreciate the import of what I'm saying. Are you the painters? You're so mean. This is exactly what I warned you about. When people like the Cranes and the Hotchkisses feel threatened, they build a wall around themselves to keep outsiders at bay. Mama, I am not an outsider. Ethan loves me, and they can't build a wall high enough to keep us apart. Excuse me, Teresa, but Ethan and I are having a private conversation, all right? I came to tell Ethan that I am more convinced than ever that his mother's going to be okay. Thank you, Teresa. I appreciate that. I don't know what I'll do if anything happens to my mother. And she has so much to live for. I mean, even if it seems she doesn't have much of marriage, she's always told me that my father is the only man she's ever loved. No! Your son! Where's your son? What are you talking about, Ivy? Is he alive? You just need to get off the boat! Calm down. You're still delirious. Only my girls are on the boat with me. My son Noah is away at private school. No, not Noah. Not Noah, our son. Yours and mine. Ivy, we have no son together. Yes, that's what I've been trying to tell you. We do. Come on, Kay. I thought you'd finally come to your senses. Haven't you done enough to try to break up Miguel and Charity? No, Simone. I haven't even started yet. I tried to choke you with my own hands. You didn't know what you were doing. You were in shock from what happened on the prom boat. Charity, put this around you. You shouldn't even be standing. Uh, I did something horrible to Miguel. That Charity, was... Charity wasn't herself before. I, I told her it wasn't her fault. Well, of course not. She's probably still in shock. I'm going to see if I can find her some hot tea. I'll be back in a minute. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I did that. You don't need to apologize. You could never hurt me. How you doing? Better. My cramp's gone. How about you? Do not. Anyway. I wanted to thank you for saving my life. Again. Don't worry about it. I mean it, Chad. I wouldn't have made it out there. Not without you. Like I said, look. It's no problem. I mean, I don't want you feeling like you owe me anything, okay? And as for what you said out there when you thought you was gonna die, I ain't gonna hold you to that neither. I'd be happy to have Hank guard me tonight. Is that okay by you, Hank? 
Yeah, I told you I'd cover as long as you need me to. Excuse me a minute. Gotta talk. I heard your hit was handed to you on a silver platter. Now you can take Sheridan out tonight while you're playing bodyguard. Oh, now look. I want you to worry that you're not gonna pull any fast ones on Hank and try to get away from him like you do with me, right? This is a totally different situation. I enjoy spending time with Hank. Good. I know he feels the same way. So I know he'll never let anything happen to you. Do you really think that Sam and Ivy will be all right? Well, like my mother says, from your lips to God's ears, I'll let you know as soon as I find out anything. Thanks. Find her, Ethan. Ivy's a strong woman. I, I think I see something out there. What? Is it Sam? I don't know. I, I, I see two people, but I'm not sure if it's them. Could be Sam and Ivy. I'm taking Sam's boat back out. Look, I'm coming with you. Oh, I'm going to. Look, please, Grace. It'd be better if you stay here. Why? If Sam's out there, I want to be there. Grace, Luis is right. There's no telling what we might find out there. You don't know what you're saying. Yes, yes I do. Where is our child? Is he all right? Did you see him when the boat went down? Are you talking about Ethan? Yes, Ethan! I don't know where he is right now, but I'm sure he made it back to the sewer. I've noticed how the cranes always find a way to come out on top. No matter how bad things look for the rest of us. No, no, Ethan is your child, yours and mine. Ethan is our son. 